Hi, my name is Jake Witte, and today I will be presenting to you the personal and professional history of geneticist Arthur Kornberg. Born March 3, 1918, to parents in Brooklyn, New York, Kornberg grew up with a gift of intelligence, graduating high school at just 15 years of age. He went on to get his BS from the City College of New York, followed by his MD from the University of Rochester. Upon receiving his MD, Kornberg acquired a position working at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester, New York, where he completed the remainder of his medical training. With this training, he took his skills to the Coast Guard, where he served as a ship doctor for a year. In the year following his service, he married his first wife of three, Sylvia Ruth Levy, a fellow geneticist. He and Levy had three sons together during their marriage, which was accompanied by a solid work partnership in genetics. After his service with the Coast Guard, the Nutrition Laboratory at the National Institute of Health hired Kornberg in 1942. Here he began studying the science behind vitamins and rats, triggering his interest in the function of metabolic enzymes. After working with these rats until 1945, Kornberg was ready for a new challenge, so he transferred to the lab of Dr. Severo Ochoa, who in future ventures became one of his most lucrative partners in genetics. Kornberg then began a research stint with Carl and Gertie Corey at Washington University in St. Louis, experimenting with DNA-producing enzymes. He was eventually offered a position as head of the microbiology department here in state from 1953 to 1959. During his time as head of the department, the experience Kornberg has had working with enzymes for so many years allowed him to isolate and identify every enzyme necessary to produce every single RNA building block. In 1956, Severo Ochoa and Arthur Kornberg began working alongside each other again, studying synthesis methods in E. coli for RNA and DNA, respectively. Ochoa discovers RNA polymerase in his studies, and at the same time, Kornberg discovers DNA polymerase. He furthered his research on newly discovered DNA polymerase once he was given a position at the helm of Stanford's biochem department in 1952. Here, he was able to demonstrate that DNA polymerase is essential in synthesis of DNA. The synthesis of DNA is a very picky process and required Kornberg to create a substrate suitable for hosting the process. The substrate necessary was deoxythymidine triphosphate, which is obtained through the assay and purification of deoxynucleotide kinase and preparation and isolation of triphosphates. To obtain the DNA polymerase for the substrate, an E. coli was separated into cellular components with a sonic oscillator. The parts of this E. coli were exposed to streptomycin and digested to begin separating polymerase from the DNA strands. Now with a fully isolated DNA polymerase, it is capable of being manipulated in such fashion that when in the substrate created, it is able to begin the synthesis of DNA completely isolated from its parent organism. Kornberg determined that it was necessary to include a primer and to include deoxyribonucleotides and easy access for the polymerase to be able to begin synthesizing DNA. This experiment was extremely important for the future of DNA replication studies. Now that there is a technique that could produce DNA completely isolated from a living organism, many doors have been opened for further studies on the matter. In 1980, Kornberg furthered his ventures in the field of science by helping to found the DNAx Institute of Molecular and Cellular Biology. At this institute, he was serving on the board for many years after its founding. During the rest of his time at Stanford, Kornberg focused heavily on polyphosphate compounds. His studies on polyphosphates would last through his final years and were extremely fruitful. In 1991, Kornberg was able to publish his findings on the multitude of uses for inorganic polyphosphate molecules. Most importantly, he was able to demonstrate how polyphosphate is a key factor in the spread of virulent pathogens. Arthur Kornberg played a fundamental role in the current understanding of DNA replication. His work with DNA synthesis and replication from DNA polymerase was the first of many of its kind, leading to a plethora of new studies in the matter. Since the discovery of the first DNA polymerase by Arthur Kornberg, four more polymerases have been identified and studied in the regard to DNA replication and synthesis. Kornberg created a layout for DNA sequencing making a baseline for polymerase chain reaction sequencing, all due to his discoveries on the ways that polymerase is able to synthesize DNA.